Wah. How's this? Angle good? It's finally springtime in uh, Sweden. I'm in a hoodie, no jacket, and I've also gone super professional with the lav mic. Hello, hello, lav mic. Anyway, springtime couldn't have come at a better time because this week I've made and implemented flowers into Glade. Let's, let's talk about it. First thing I did was go right into Blender, make a tulip model. I decided on tulips because that's the easiest flower to model, maybe. Maybe it is, I thought it was. I looked at some reference images of a tulip's life cycle and then I modeled three different models so I can switch between them when the tulip grows. And I vertex painted it because that was the easiest thing to do for me at the time. And I thought it turned out great. So I dragged it into Godot and did some programming, coding, nerd shit. And then we have growing tulips. And then I also made it so that they reproduce. So tulips that grow and spread. But the performance was absolutely abysmal. In every single flower and in every single tree, I had a counter in the process function, which decided when it was gonna grow or duplicate or whatever. And with like over a hundred things in the game, that's, that's not gonna work. So I made an auto load singleton, which just handled all of the growth and called a function on the object every time the timer reached zero. So now I can switch the tick speed of the trees and the flowers separately and it, the performance is way better. So that's great. After that, I wanted to add colors to the flowers, not just have these red flowers. So I thought, okay, let's make uh, one material for the stem and the leaves. That'll be the same on all the flowers. And then let's just switch from vertex paint to texture. So I can just swap a texture when I swap the color. That did not work. For some reason, adding two materials to every flower just cut my frame rate in half. So that we're not doing that anymore. So instead I, <laughs> I exported a separate model for every single color that I wanted. So I re-vertex, I, hang on. I vertex painted every color on the model and then I exported it as a new model. So now I just have a model for every single color and I just hide and show them based on what color I want to show. For some reason that is, you know, way more <laughs> easier on the frame rate. I don't know why. I don't know, I'm doing something weird. This works, so it's not stupid, because it works. So now I had colors. Now I want to be able to breed the flowers um, so they produce different colors. So I fixed up the shop system a little bit. I made it possible to buy flowers. Um, to, ah, I made it possible to buy blue, red or yellow. Every tick, they either duplicate or try to breed. So blue, red, yellow, purple, and orange are the colors that you can get in the game. And purple and orange, you can only get through breeding. And then one day I was tired and I didn't really want to work on the game. So I just made like foam texture on the waterfall just to do something. I still have not added a way to pick up the flowers or, you know, remove the flowers. That so yeah. Oh. Oh, my foot hurts now. <laughs>